Hello and welcome to another session on Gems of Geometry. And uh, today we are going to discuss another uh, very interesting lemma. And the lemma is something like this that uh, if A, B, C, and D are four points, okay, such that AB is equal to BC and BC is equal to CD, and angle ABC is equal to angle PCD, then the four points a b c and d are concyclic that is they lie on the same circle now it appears here that they are you know lying on the same circle so let me first switch this off so now you can see there are four points a b c d and it's given you can see i have uh, mentioned the values of the length of a b b c and c d so a b is 5.42 b c is 5.42 and c d is 5.42 in this configuration and angle ABC, you can see this is 151.43 degrees, and BCD is equal to 151.43 degrees. So whenever that 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 happens, the four point ABCD will be concyclic. But there is one constraint. The constraint is these angles ABC and BCD must not be less than 60 degrees. They must be greater than 60 degrees. Only then this will hold. Okay. Now, so uh, this is the first part of the lemma. The other part of the lemma says that not only these four points, but there is one more point E such that uh, the angle AED, right? Angle AED is thrice the angle AOB. Now, while we are dealing with the proof, you will see that triangle AOB, BOC, and C O D are congruent triangles, okay, such that these vertex angles that is angle A O B B O C and C O D are all equal, okay. So I can show you here. So if I take these uh, angle, so let me show you the angle A O B, right? Um, let me A O and b so you can see this is 28.57 b o c that's also 28.57 let me just separate them out yeah so delta and epsilon these two angles right and then finally if you see um c o and d that's also jita 28.57 so all three are equal now these three are equal so the second part of the lemma I was discussing was this, that if there is a point E on the other side of ABCD, right, on this side, as in, you know, on the side facing the arc, this arc ABCD which will be there. So if you find a point E such that AED is thrice alpha, thrice alpha, where alpha is, or where two alpha is this angle, A O b okay then this point e also lies on the same circle once again what does it mean so if you find a point e such that a e d is thrice alpha now you'll ask what is alpha 2 alpha is the angle a o b that is if a o b is 2 alpha then a e d is 3 alpha correct if such point exists, that is, if you can find or locate that point E, then that E point is also on the same circle on which A, B, C, and D are lying. So let me now switch on the circle. So this is the circle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to vary the positions of D, C, B, A, and C whether E lies on that circle or not. So I'm going to change the length as well as the position of the line segments a b b c c d okay so here is i'm changing the angle first so if you can see I'm, i have changed the angle a b c and b c d are still same but then you know the, the positions and configuration has changed and you can see all of them are still lying on one circle so they are concyclic isn't it so whatever be the position of a b c and d they all lie in one circle Okay, so let me also change the length of the side so that it becomes more valid. So I'm changing the length as well as the position, and you can see they do not leave 
the circle right so they are all on a circle right so clearly a b b c c d are equal then and angle a b c and b c d are equal then the um, the points a b c d are concyclic as well as there exists a point e such that if angle a o b is to alpha then a e d will be 3 alpha right that's what uh, this particular lemma suggests now in the second part of the video we'll try and prove this lemma uh, in the previous part of the video we had seen the demonstration of a very interesting lemma and in this part we are going to prove that lemma so what was the lemma let's first uh, discuss that so it's given that if four points a b c and d satisfy the conditions what conditions first of all a b is equal to b c is equal to c d okay so you can see in the figure a b is equal to b c is equal to c d and this angle a b c is equal to b c d angle okay if these conditions are met then a b c d are concyclic points first of all we'll prove that and then we'll also prove that if there exists another angle 3 alpha right or a point if there exists a point e on the other side of this arc a b c d such that angle a e d is thrice alpha okay and what is alpha here alpha is nothing but this uh, angle which the each of these a b b c and c d are making at the center of that particular circle on which they lie okay then then that point e also is concyclic to the same a b c d okay that means e also lies on the same circle so there are two parts once again first we have to prove that if a b is equal to b c is equal to c d and angle a b c is equal to angle d c d and both of these have to be more than 60 degrees there is a reason why we are doing this we will try and explain it later so um if that conditions conditions are met then a b c d are concyclic so let's first prove that okay so what i have done is i have drawn a circle uh, no, uh sorry i have drawn ab is equal to bc is equal to cd and uh, i have made sure that angle abc is equal to angle bcd now what i have also drawn done is construction some construction has to be done so the first construction is um ob and uh, oc ob and oc are internal angle bisectors angle bisectors internal angle bisectors of angle abc and angle bcd okay and they meet it they meet at o they meet at o okay so if you look at triangle boc 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 sorry is what do we see here boc is an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle why if you see angle obc obc is equal to angle ocb why is that because both of them are equal to half of angle abc or half of angle bcd whichever because both of angle abc and bcd are same given okay so the moment uh, this becomes isosceles then um, therefore we can say ob is equal to oc okay ob is equal to oc right now similarly triangle um yeah oab o a b is congruent to triangle o d c o d c why because first of all o b is equal to o c just proved above and what else uh angle a b o or o b a whichever way um a b o yeah a b o is equal to angle d c o and both are equal to half of angle a b c or half of angle b c d is it because this angle is 50 percent or half of a b c and a b c and b c d so these two angles are same a b c and b c d are same so 50 percent of them that is 
half of them will also be equal so ob is equal to oc and abo is equal to dco and another one is ab is equal to bc correct it's given that means by by side angle side congruence criteria right triangle oab is congruent to triangle odc right so that means by cpct we can say oa is equal to uh, od oa is equal to od and what else uh, we can also say that angle oab is equal to angle odc correct odc also angle aob aob is equal to angle cod these are the things which we can infer from it now so after this we can also prove that triangle oab oab is congruent to triangle ocb o cb oab is congruent to ocb and how is that ob is equal to common both sides have ob then uh, we have angle oba is equal to angle obc is it obc and which is equal to half of angle abc right because ob is the bisector therefore and also ab is equal to bc okay therefore by which criteria again sas sas triangle oab is congruent to triangle ocb okay that means what we can say oa is equal to oc now previously we had proven that oa is equal to od and also we had proven that ob is equal to oc so what does it mean it means oa is equal to ob is equal to oc is equal to od right so it it seems or it appears that oa ab bc and cd are the chord with a center o and radius is oa ob oc od right so all is this equal to r okay so hence we say that a b c d lie on a circle with center o with center o and radius is equal to a b sorry o a or equal to o b or equal to o c or equal to o d right hence we prove that a b c d are concyclic a b c d are concyclic hence this circle c is this you know let's say small c is the um the given circle so hence now what how do we prove that uh you know uh, there is a point e which is having an angle let's say a e d is 3 alpha right so i have considered a o b is equal to 2 alpha b o c is equal to 2 alpha and c o d is equal to 2 alpha because now all of them are equal because there are three congruent triangles in the middle so if these are 2 alpha then uh, there point there exist a point e on the other side of this arc uh, abcd where if that is 3 alpha let's say angle aed is 3 alpha then e also lies on the same circle okay and that will be so and it can be very easily proven why because let's say if a aob is 2 alpha definitely there is a point e on the circle where aeb is alpha isn't it so if you look at this circle carefully so what is this circle let me draw the circle once again and uh, okay so let us say there is a circle this circle and uh, we had sorry so let me draw a circle once again okay this is a circle and we saw that this is the center o and let's say this point was a this point is b this point is c so all of them are equal ab bc cd let's say and and 
we have a point over here right let's say e so if you see if this is 2 alpha and this is o clearly this point or this angle rather is alpha why because the angle subtended by an arc or a chord at the center is double or twice that it subtends at the other part of the circle right and then similarly you see this also would be alpha by the same logic because this is 2 alpha and finally this one also is alpha correct so if you you see there is a there is a point e such that angle a e d is 3 alpha if angle a o b is equal to angle b o c is equal to angle c o d is 2 alpha isn't it so this will this point e exists definitely if and obviously this point has to lie on the circle then only this condition of uh, the angle subtended at the center is twice that of angle subtended at the segment is true correct so hence e is nothing but e are such points uh, where this condition is satisfied and obviously that will be satisfied only when the point e lies on the circle as well so hence we prove that a b c and uh, d as well as e all of them are concyclic points concyclic points now we are going to use this lemma in proving morley's trisector theorem whose uh, uh, demonstration or you know validation we just tried in the previous video in the next video we'll try to prove morley's uh, trisector theorem and we'll be using this particular um lemma there to prove morley's trisector theorem so i hope this theorem is understood or lemma is understood by all